of Cardi because y'all y'all love the Cardi shit. So do I. I'm not gonna lie. But so DJ Academics like interviewed NBA Youngboy yesterday, and allegedly he said that he would not work with Cardi. Here it is. So Cardi charts reports NBA Youngboy says that he would not do a song with Cardi. Later said that Cardi is cool though, and that his Rolling Loud performance was crazy. He also said a whole lot of red was made for performing. All right, we're gonna listen to this, but it kind of contradicts something that I, he also said in the same DJ Academics interview, which put me off a little bit. But again, it's no diss, because he said Cardi is cool, and that his Rolling Loud performance was crazy, it was made for, for performing and whatnot. Would you ever do a song with uh, uh, Cardi? Like, yeah, he kind of borders on uh, on kind of like that vibe as well. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think so. No, I'm going to just say no. I don't know, no. Why? Mm. Cardi cool, though. Yeah. Shit. I was also I was crazy. I was watching him perform. Uh, I was watching him perform at the Rolling Loud shit. Yeah, he he, he, he sit he sit was he sit that shit. It was it was crazy. I think his last I think that his last the album or mixtape whatever it was called a whole lot of red. I think uh I think that shit was made strictly for performing. Like. Mm. All right. So here's my theory as to why NBA Youngboy would not work with Cardi, although it was not a diss. I think it's because of the same reason that NBA Youngboy would not collab with Uzi, even though NBA Youngboy and Uzi don't have personal problems between themselves, but Rich the Kid still has beef with Uzi. But considering Cardi is obviously good friends with Uzi, he wouldn't work with his friend. Although Rich the Kid did work with Cardi back in the day, but maybe they fell out too, because you know, pretty much every single relationship with Cardi always falls out for some reason. This is just a theory and speculation. I'm not completely sure of what's going on, but maybe it has something to do with Uzi because Uzi and Cardi are are like like, like that. If he works with Uzi's team, you know, maybe that would offset or off put rich the kid a little bit does that make sense young boy got two songs with uzi yeah but they were older and before rich the kid or they were before like rich the kid beef with uzi i think then there are leaks too so that's why but there's my theory now the reason that i was a little bit conflicted was because if we go back to the NBA Youngboy interview with the academics, he then said in the same interview, NBA Youngboy says he'd rather do a song with 6 9 before any of these other rappers. And I was like, why would you do a song with 6 9 before you would do a song with Cardi? That shit does not make sense whatsoever. They're like with me, they're like with me. I'll reach out, I'll, I'll, I'll do a song with 69 if I do a song with every two. Oh, man. <laughs> Ack is like, oh, man, you just fucked up your career. The industry can't, man. The industry can suck my d I ain't got that shit. I ain't got nothing against him. That shit ain't gonna do with me. I wasn't in this situation. Every two talking don't, don't know what, the, what they'd do if they was in this situation. What the f so maybe he said this because nobody posted his album or whatever because that's what dj academics was complaining about when his last album came out like nobody was reposting it except for like i don't know i don't know trippy red maybe um and if six nine was blackballed and if nba youngboy believes himself to be blackballed then maybe they can find some sort of like I don't know, friendship in that? Do I smoke? Not really. I mean, if I'm at a party, I will smoke. But in addition to that, so more information, Youngboy said he never made any money off YouTube despite being the number one artist on the platform for multiple years. So he's saying like the industry 
took advantage of him. This was all an academics podcast, by the way, if you want to go check it out on here. So maybe this kind of relates to the 6 9 situation. Again, they're both blackballed. Why not rub their balls together? I think, well, I think as you learn the business, you learn. You learn how much you getting, like how, how badly you've been taken advantage of. That's like with you. That's like with you too. I ain't never got paid from YouTube a day in my life. Make all the money off my YouTube and then give me a small percentage out my shit. I think well, I think as you learn the business, you learn. All right, so that could be the reason that NBA YoungBoy and his management took down all of his YouTube videos because they were the label was making too much money and they felt like he wasn't getting enough of it. But we talked about this yesterday, like artists, you know, they get 10% or 20% or however much they do from the, the label, like the total revenue of however much they make because the label accrues more revenue for you by promoting you, putting it on playlists, all this type of shit. Although NBA Youngboy was potentially blackballed, I don't know. So maybe, I don't know, NBA Youngboy is trying to finesse another deal by taking down the videos, although the label could then like take control of the YouTube channel. I don't know what's going down. Nah, he need 100% of that shit. Nah, bro. Labels are there for the reason, for a reason. People don't understand that like, labels do a lot. That's why I say Cardi, right? He signed to AUG. And I believe Cardi is better than artist than Uno the activist, but Uno is kind of like on the same wave. Uno, or Cardi kind of stole the baby voice and no diss from Uno. We, we all know this. But Uno remained independent and look where the discrepancy is between their career success. But at the same time, Uno is independent and controls all of his music, controls all of his masters. Uh, Cardi likely does not. He might get a he might get more money, he might be more famous, but in the grand scheme of things, he gets like probably 10 to 20 percent of or maybe even less of what the entire label gets, Interscope or AUG, of the total revenue of his music. So it's just give like you gotta weigh these things out. What do you want? The money or fame? Or do you want control of your career and life? Because after all, if your money or if your music flops, they can just shelve you so easily. If you, even if you were popping at one point in time with the label. But anyway, NBA Youngboy said one last thing that was kind of getting headlined. Um, he said, Fuck no when asked if he listens to Polo G, but he also said he liked Polo G, so it was just kind of a little clickbait. But let's, let's listen to it. Listen to P- I listen to Pee Wee. I, um, I listen to Long Way. Yeah. Um, no, I listen to Juice. You listen to Polo G? Fuck no, man. What type of games you playing? Man, I'm just asking, man. Yeah, no. Shit. <laughs> that does sound a bit odd, but some people are telling me, in the, or not me, but they said in the replies imagine posting an out of context clip just for clout he said he thinks polo g is hard and even sent him a song before top for a feature that was in 2019 obviously he don't mess with him now okay so maybe maybe young boy don't fuck with polo g anymore maybe because polo g is kind of like the same lane as young boy right now but he's like more mainstream you know he got a number one song with rap star he got a number one album that i think sold more hall of fame than nba young boy's recent album correct me if i'm wrong if not like pretty equivalent numbers but polo g is kind of like that young boy lane just more mainstream right would y'all would y'all agree he said just playing nah i think he said stop playing with me okay maybe they do have a problem i don't know Maybe people are overreacting in the replies saying like, y'all are taking shit out of the context, but it's not actually out of context. What do y'all think? I don't know.